Okay guys, so I was building a special TARDIS interior, just really poorly and quickly, started improving it, and because the interiors were generating, and the game crashed on me when I set down one of the roundel containers, and I cannot go back into the world, because that block is corrupted or whatever, and the world keeps crashing whenever I enter it. So I have to create a brand new world. So I apologize for that. I'm going to keep a little counter going on the number of crashes I have, and let's just jump right back into the TARDIS dimension. And I won't spend so much time building another interior, but let's just try to take a look at some of the new dimensions that have been added, if those work. Um, the advancements in there are there for them, but I haven't checked the monitor yet to see if those dimensions were actually added. But if they were, that would be pretty cool. And if not, well, maybe we'll get another game crash, or maybe we'll, those dimensions haven't been added yet or anything. I haven't found out yet. But let's just wait for this world to load. There it goes. And let's get into another TARDIS and see if we can get this to work this time. So let me just grab one at random since the interiors don't seem to be working. Or perhaps just at least a, another interior will generate if those other two didn't. I do like the fact that they place at angles. I'm used to the fridge noise in that one. It doesn't seem to be there. I, I, I can't walk into it. I'm walking into the shelves. Okay, let's try another TARDIS. Let's try the 66. Okay, let's try you. Okay, so the doors seem to work on this one. And I can walk into it. That's a good sign. Let me just stop myself from falling. And there's our block of TNT. So I'm not even going to try to build another TARDIS here. I'm just going to place a floor down. See if we can get the flight panel. I wonder if the flight panel is labeled as well. Yes, it is. Oh, look at that. Brand new model. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Love that texture. Okay, that should be everything we need. Let's right-click on this. Okay, we did not crash. That's good. So we've got... Oh, look at that. Brand new model for the overworld. Veros, which is here. The moon. Oh, look at that. Got a little rocket ship on there. Skyro and Trent. Oh, is Trenzalor back? Oh, that is so cool. Again, another feature that was added on the one-year anniversary, so it's nice you're seeing it back on an anniversary. The Nether. And the End. Look at that, with the Ender Dragon. That's pretty cool. So traveling in the End, that we're, I'm going to have to try that at the end of the video, because they've now that we're a post 1.9, we've got all the new End Islands in that. So let's take a look here. We've also got the waypoints. So, home, add, boom. And there you go. That's how you work the waypoint system. And I've got a video on that, too, if anybody needs help with that. Anyway, shameless advertising. And the chameleon circuit, everything's probably unlocked first because, again, we're I'm in creative mode. So that's how that's going to work. But the chameleon panel, let's see if we can just see if we can get one of these to work. So let's just grab one of these. And, oh, look at that. We get a little blooping noise. And there you go. We should have that in the chameleon circuit now. I have to go into survival mode to demonstrate that, however. So let us dematerialize. That animation is back, which is pretty cool. Let me get some new TARDIS decoration for this. This looks really boring right now. I think some coral wiring in the walls will look pretty nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Look at that. Can you believe nobody has thought of voting with that before? Wow. Okay, and we seem to be dematerialized, so let's select a planet. So let's start with a new one. Let's start with Veros. Rematerial. Are you sure you pressed the right button? Oh, this does not sound good, guys. There's a new feature here. I'm not prepared for this. I think I broke it. I don't know how to play the TARDIS. I broke it. Okay. Um. Um. Are we okay? Did I break it? Okay, um, now now we just need some doors. Perfect. Okay, let's check out Veros, then. And hopefully I did not break the TARDIS too much. Almost in, I'm not in flight anymore. Green material. Oh, man. I, I broke it again. It's broken again, guys. Apparently I, I have... Apparently I'm far worse at this than I remember. Get out of here. Okay, that is pretty cool, that gameplay. Oh, look at this. We're all pink, and now I'm trapped in sandstone. Okay, that's easily fixed. There we go. 
So this is Veros, eh? Let me get a key. Ah, oh, the old texture's back. Nice. Look at that. You hold it differently. In a uh, first person anyway. Let's get that TARDIS up here. Nice. Sweet. Sandstone gives it an interesting look, especially at a distance. And look, I love the skybox. So it doesn't seem to be too much special with this planet yet. Doesn't seem to be any ores or anything, just a sandstone and the Veros sand. But pretty cool, and I cannot believe I cannot remember what planet Veros is. I'll probably look it up later. But yeah, so that is Veros, another dimension to explore. Let's get back in the TARDIS, see if everything's okay. Hopefully it's not too beat up. Oh, and I'm falling again. I completely forgot about that. Let's see if the uh, TARDIS interior door command works. Let's see if that works. Anyway, let's... Nice smooth dematerialization. There we go. Okay, so next up we're going to check out the moon. This is where the... Oh, jeez, I think I broke again. This is where the... Um, Where the flag comes in, I think. It's the American flag on the moon. So, um, she's going to be fine. Let's check out the moon. Oh, we made another advancement. We are in another cave. Wonderful. Come on. There we go. And here we are on the moon. Still all the different, yeah. Just seem, doesn't seem like there's as many blocks generating on the surface as there was before. Whoa! The gravity has been way decreased. Wow. Forget potions of leaping. And new texture for the Earth up there. That looks really nice. Okay. So I don't know if there's like a, a flags that generate at random up here. Could use a few craters, in my opinion. But other than that, looks pretty nice. Good old moon. Got some mountains. Now we got some flatter terrain. Stream hill. Okay, so we got different biomes on the moon now. We got plains and extreme, which is a bit more accurate to the actual lunar surface. There are seas and mountains and all that stuff. And taiga biome on the moon, even. So this is a lunar taiga biome. That's pretty interesting. Okay, let's summon the TARDIS back. Yeah. I don't know if it snows on this tiger biome. Of course it doesn't, it's the moon. Okay, so let me go into um, survival mode here. Oh yeah. <laughs> we need a spacesuit, so let's um, suit up. This is a crasher, isn't it? Um... <laughs> Guys, my game just froze trying to put on that, so I'm going to count this as a crash. Okay, so that one crashed too, and I can't get back into it. So we're just going to go and do another one and try it again. So I've still got a couple of planets left to check out, and then I think that should wrap up the video. So, Well, it's nice to know that the oxygen system thing is finally coded in for the moon, even if you can't put on a spacesuit to... Get it to work with. And here we are in world number three. So let's get out another TARDIS. Maybe this one, its interior will, will work. Who knows? I'm prepared to fly just in case, yep. Let's look around for that block of TNT. Let me just put a couple of blocks up there, throw down a monitor, and we can try to do this all over again. This, and that should be all I need. So we're on the moon last time, let's check out Scarrow. So let's dematerialize first. Let me put Adric Star back on. And okay, so save for Scarrow. Whoop, whoop, oh, oh, come on. I have no idea what caused the crash that time. With luck, we should still be able to get into this world though. Okay, that is good. Let's try this again. Ah, we are breaking down again. Exit? Yes, I can. Okay, good. And here we are on Scarrow. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so I lost another world. Here we are in another world. This feels very familiar somehow. And let's just keep trying different TARDISes until we get something to work. Maybe there's an interior that will still generate for us. There we go. No. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Yes, this worked. Okay. Here we are in the original 10th Doctor TARDIS interior, 9th, 10th Doctor, which was fittingly added on the one-year anniversary of the mod four years ago today. So that is pretty cool. Just making sure everything's here. Yep. Okay, that's awesome. So at least one of the interiors work, and it is an anniversary interior, technically, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's get another lever. Maybe this one will work this time. Dematerialize. And what have we got left here? Veros Moon. That crashed on it, so now we've got Trenzalor. So that'll be pretty sweet to try out. Rematerializing, and let's just exit and check this out, if this works. And, yes it does, and we got another advancement. Oh, this is cool, because this was added, once again, on the one-year anniversary update, along with the Whisper Men in that. I wonder if Silence uh, spawned here, because Silence used to spawn here as, as well as Weeping Angels, but it just seems to be Whisper Men. And they can swim in lava, great. Anyway, this looks pretty cool. Um, I love the skybox, the wind in the background. Only thing missing is the gravestones. Alright, so that is Trinzalor, or what's left of it. Let's get back in the TARDIS and try to wrap things up. So, what have we got left? Dematerialize again. Nether, I'm not going to show that. We all know what that looks like. So the one thing I wanted to try, actually, is the flight panel in the end. So let's just place that down. Rematerialize. Listen to the TARDIS engines break down. And let's see what the flight panel looks like. So we should be in the end now. And... Uh, uh, am I... Did it just... It just uh, exited me. I, I'm not. I don't think I'm flying in the. Yeah. I just. It's like I exited the TARDIS. Okay. Um. That's disappointing. Let's just try to head towards negative everything. And we should encounter the main island in just a little bit. Okay. I wonder what happened to the TARDIS. Whoa. Everything got dark all of a sudden. with the Ender Dragon out and about, I hesitate to summon it. And the TARDIS seems to be gone. Okay, let's place down another one. I'm going to try that flight panel just one more time, although I don't think it's going to... Whoa. Now there's mist in here. What, what the... What's going on? It, everything looks different now. Everything's all misty. Okay. That is interesting. I wonder if that's just the way the end affects the TARDIS. That is weird. Okay. I'm um, still got the flight planner here. One more time. I'm going to try that. Nope. Nothing. TARDIS is gone. We got two under dragons now, by the looks of things. And at least double the, the boss bar there. And I'm stranded in the end. Oh, no. Okay, guys. So that is my sort of spontaneous review for the... Five-year anniversary of the Dalek mod, or update 47, as it public beta release or whatever, as it is known. And obviously, my verdict for this is a lot of fun, cool new, fe new features are added. However, there are many, many bugs, so watch out for that. Your game will crash multiple times, sometimes for no reason whatsoever. And be careful, just um, with Taurus interiors and. Um, yeah, some of the dimensions and some of the features and um, the clothing and everything will cause your game to crash sooner or later, I think. So, anyway, that was my update review. I did enjoy the update. I cannot wait for the completed version to be released sometime soon, Ugh, sometime soon hopefully. So, thank you, as always, guys, for watching. And uh, leave a comment letting us all know what you think of the update so far. And do leave a like if you like seeing me make these sort of videos where I just kind of go out and improv and, you know, just discover these features and show you my initial reaction to all of that and everything. So, 
that guys is this video and I will see you all in the next one. Hopefully that will be a proper update 47 video. So uh, goodbye for now everybody.